Righto, well, uh, came close up in Western Sydney last time, mate, so lots of chances. What do you do differently this this week um, to try to overcome that? Um, I think I think we've been obviously we've been building since then. Uh, you know I think uh, they're going to be away from home, so it'll probably be will hopefully be a, a similar situation. We just need to make sure that, that we that we move the ball quickly, and when we do get around their box, that we're, we're oh right. we're clinical <laughs> and good hands yeah, too. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that we're that we that we're clinical and um, sort of don't let them get too too much into their, their defensive shape and block because they're they're extremely difficult to break down. Certainly, and. I, and just on that, obviously, once they get a goal up, it's very hard to get through them. They really compact down. Do, do you have anything, um, any plans if they do take the lead? Oh, no, look, we're just more focusing on what on what we've got to do as we as we do every week. Uh, we'll be, as I say, we're, we're just looking to make sure that we, we move the ball quickly when we get the chance and uh, when we do get those chances in the front third that, that, that we take them. Uh, again, it's our home game. We we want to take the initiative and take the game to them as um, you know, as we always do. So that's, I think that's more important to us than, than sort of looking if we go a goal down or something like that. What's the, the Wanderers defence is well-renowned. What's the difference between the way they defend and the way that, say, Perth came to town a couple of weeks ago and defended, you know, back with, you know, nine behind the ball type Oh, I think I think that was more of a one-off thing for Perth. Uh, you know, Wanderers, uh, they do it week in, week out. They're a very, very well-drilled team. That's, I think, more part of their game plan than, than a sort of a one-off way to, to stop a team. So, you know, they're, they're, oh, I've done it twice. <laughs> and I've got it again. Wow. Two times. Um, it's even flies there. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, no, nah, they, they work on it very well, you know, they are, they're a real defensive unit, it's not, they're, they're never one off or one out, they're always together, so uh, I think that's the main difference between sort of their setup and, and when teams sort of come and try and do it on a one off occasion. Um, Guy's been very good, started, uh, played very well again last week after coming on the ground, um, just as a skipper, sort of watching the way he sort of turned things around, it was this time last year that he went down with his knee and against the Wanderers as well, it's... He's just such a popular sort of clubman as well, and just his rehabilitation and getting himself back to where he is now must be, you know, pretty inspirational for everybody else. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm over the moon for Guy, as you see. He's um, he's a great, great man to have around the club. He's he's a yeah, he's an excellent person, and you know, we're just thrilled for him that he's back, and you know, he's been playing extremely well when he comes off. And obviously, it's good for him, but it's extremely good for us as a, in general as well to have have someone like Guy on the bench. And um, you know, well, obviously now he's he's definitely pushing for for a starting berth, which only brings the best out of the other boys around him, myself, Mitch, James, all the boys that are in that midfield. So it's uh, it's good for everyone. He really he really drives everyone out here. And as I say, he's great around the change room as well. Look, back to the Derby um, game. I mean, do you allow yourself as a club some time to celebrate that, especially the week before Christmas? Or how, how do you, you know, go from such a big high to such a big game? Um, yeah, it was uh, it was an intense game, and it was a, I think it was a good win for us. But you know, we we did our review on that early on the week, and as as we do most weeks, so we looked through that. We looked at what we did well, what we didn't do well, where we can improve, and and sort of put it behind us. And today on has been all about the Wanderers this weekend. So you know, it's been it's been no different. I think that's uh, I think that's very important for us that we. We have our, our routine and our schedule, and, and that stays the same. Uh, you know, we've put a couple of wins together now. And we we need to make sure that we um, we keep on we keep on going that way. We keep on with a good performance and make sure we get the three points this weekend again. In terms of uh, positioning yourself for the second half of the season, obviously four points gap at the moment. How important is it um, to get the three points this week? Yeah, extremely important. I think it's more. In you know, it's, it's important for the three points, but it's important to keep that that good momentum going. I think we wanted that coming into Christmas, and we've had a good couple of weeks, and um, you know we're slowly slowly closing the gap. So you know, if we if we want to be contenders this year, if we want to be serious about uh, competing for the title, then these are the sort of games, especially at home, that we have to win. How's Archie? Yeah, Archie's he's all right. He was out he was out today again, moving around and and whatnot. Um, um, you know, I think obviously we're very wary because of the flare-up. But um, look, I'm, I'm really not sure what's what's going on this week in, in regards with Archie. But I know he's pushing and working extremely hard every day to get to get back. And there had been talk just about you guys converting, you know, the plethora of chances that you create into actual goals. Do you take the three that you scored last week with a grain of salt, given that it was against ten men, or is it still just confidence boosting, knowing that you can break down a team? Because I suppose. Yeah, well, absolutely. You know, I, I think you score goals. You know, we still worked hard. You know, sometimes it's very hard. They still got men behind the ball, and you know, we've had to do it with ten men as well against Adelaide. So, you know, I don't think. Uh, you know, obviously, while you 
note that they did have 10 men. I don't think you take anything away from the from the actual performance. You know, our setup and the way that we created chances still came from our structure and our formation. So that's a, that's a that's definitely a positive thing. Um, but look, yeah, as you say, we in previous weeks, I think the last few weeks we've been much better at it, but in previous weeks before that we're still creating chances and not taking them, but uh, you know, I think hopefully slowly we've been rectifying that. Connor Payne was just about best on last week after being kept out of the side until the last sort of 10 minutes. Have you thought about as a captain maybe just not telling him he's playing for the last 10 minutes? Let's see how he goes. <laughs> well, I think he's been good before last week as well, so... Um, no, look, it's, he, he did extremely well. That's one of the most, I think it's one of the most difficult things to do in football. Uh, you know, I like to, personally, I like to know well in advance so that you can have your normal preparation and, and things like that because it is very difficult to to prepare for a game or you do it differently generally if you're starting or not starting. So, look, it's it's a credit to the boy. He's, he's, uh, he's young, but he's got a very good head on his shoulders and, uh, you know, he's coming along in leaps and bounds as well. But, uh, you know, he was good last week, but we expect... Again, more and more from from everyone every week. So, uh, yeah, hopefully he can prepare a little bit uh, with a clearer mind this week and uh, we'll see the same result from him. <laughs>